Since the last how to build was about something orange, I have to balance that out by doing something green. So today we're going to do this big green couch. Okay, start out two 2x10 two plates, and then put another layer of plate on top of that. This is a 4x6 and 2x2s and 1x2s, but it's just whatever green plates you got laying around, or whatever color you want your couch to be. Now that you've done that, um, this is just a base for the couch. Sides, I'm putting some 2x2s, but again, this could be some 2x4s for you. And then I'm going to use these really cool 2x3s that are curvy sloped in the front because they are perfect for couches. And uh, just going to do a row of 2x2 two two tiles across the top of that. Now, in the back, I'm using a lot of these this uh, slope piece, which I think is from like the racers and stuff. Um, I had a whole bunch of these, which is how I came up with this couch in the first place, but you could substitute anything else. And I'm also using this really weird octagonal um, backward set slope, which is from the old, what is that? The old, old Aqua Raiders. I, I don't know if it's come in uh, any sets in a long time, but the height of this is, I think it's five plates high. Is it four plates high? It's five plates high. It's five plates high, which is a brick and two plates. Um, and it has a two by two on the bottom and a two by two on the top that are offset by one. So you could build this out of five two by two plates if you want, two by two, two by two, you know, like that, um, to replace it. But anyway, basically I've just got this on here, and I do the opposite on the other side. And for the front of the armrest, I'm using this piece again, and this could be whatever sort of slope bricks you want. And then the uh, only thing left is to make the back. So the key for this is these hinge click pieces. So this is a one by two with the up and a one by two with the side. If you click, you need four of these, click them upright and then click it back one. That's the position we're gonna want them all in. So we'll line up four of those, top of one another. We'll take a one by six plate, cross the back of them so that it sticks out at both sides. Then we're going to take two by twos up here, a one by four across, and two one by fours down. Now we've cleverly built a nice back. We're going to take more of those slow pieces, three of them this way and top it off with these little tiny sort of shoulder pad spiky things. You know what? I think this actually goes this way. Yeah, that's better. And then uh, this fits on here in the back, and uh, the back doesn't look so perfect, but from the front, now those should be the other direction. Yeah, there we go. From the front, you get this pretty cool looking couch. Looks really cushy. Wish I could sit in it. Um, of course, if you want your minifigures to stick on here, you'll have to take off the tiles and um, you know maybe put a layer of tile back there or put just put plates there. However you want to do it, but um, for just looking at the couch, it looks cool that way. Um, just a side note for the lamps I have next to this. Uh, this is just that big old turbine piece. 
I've got three one by one. So if you put this at the right angle, you can't really see the two by two. And then it just comes a cool little lamp next to the, the couch. So uh, there you go. There's your uh, green couch and uh, lamp as a bonus. Uh -huh.